All right, guys, we have question 18 from the fundamentals of electric circuits, and we need to find the power absorbed by each of the elements in this figure on the right hand side. And as we talked about in the previous videos, uh, our power would be voltage times current. And for each of these elements, we need to uh, find this value, keeping in mind that uh, we have a passive sign convention for finding the power and that's when the current enters the positive pole of uh, each of these elements that's going to give us the positive power which means the power is actually absorbed and when we have a negative and when the current enters the negative pole of each of these elements so the power is going to be negative meaning the power is actually supplied so let's start with the p1 uh, if I look at it, uh, so the current is actually in this direction. So it's entering the negative pole of this element. So we're going to have negative. We need voltage times the current. So the voltage is 30 and the current is uh, the 10 amps that we have in here. So minus 300 watt. So we have voltage times amp, which is going to give us watt. So that's for the P1. So the negative shows that it's actually supply the power is supplied so let's move on to the p2 so the one that we have uh, right here so we can see that the current is entering the positive so it will be positive uh, the volt uh, the voltage is 10 and the current is the same current 10 amps and this is going to give us positive 100 watt and the positive so showed that it's absorbed and let's move on to p3 so p3 uh, we can see we have a different current 14 amp it's entering the positive pole so positive 14 times the voltage is 20 so 14 times 20 that's going to give us positive 280 again absorbed i'm just going to do the abbreviation abs and p4 and if we look at the P4, we can see the current is entering the negative pole. So negative 4 times 8. So 4 amp times 8 minus 32 watt. I forgot the unit in here. So minus 32, that shows that the power is supplied in here. And the last one, we have P5. Again, the current, uh, this arrow shows the current. So it's entering the negative pole again so uh also don't get confused by this arrow that that's a very common mistake actually if you look at this you're going to be okay the, it's entering the positive pole so it's going to be positive which is not correct so actually the cor the correct direction is going to be from here so it's entering the negative pole and it's it's going to exit from the positive so uh that's going to be also a negative power and we have 12 volt and 0.4 i and we know that i is 10 so this is going to be actually 4 amps so uh this i in here refers to the current that we have in here so 12 times 4 it's going to be negative 48 watt and again the negative sign shows that it's a supply uh, Hope everything was clear again you just have to watch for these uh positive neg negative uh signs that we have in here and uh we again we're going to use the passive sign convention that we have which is what i talked about in here unless we are told something other than this we're going to use this convention for the rest of our problems again unless the question is explicitly mentions that you need to change the convention and yeah hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one